Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be going over uh, questions on depression, but it's going to be via Kahoot. I put an invitation out. I made a post on YouTube, inviting anyone that was available to join you, um, join Kahoot with this game pin and to just choose what they think the answer is. So I'm going to go over the questions and the correct answer choice and just explain important things to know in regards to those questions. There are only 10 questions, so this should be a short video, but it's my first one doing Kahoot. I'm very new to this. So be patient with me. Let me know in the video what you thought about the video and what you'd like to see me cover next. If you'd like to see me uh, continue with the Kahoot. As always, guys, please support me and support this channel. How can you do that? By liking this video. Hopefully you love it. So please like now so you don't forget. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell a friend about me. Tell a friend about um, my channel. And don't forget, guys, not only do I have audio lessons available on my website, now I'm also providing NCLEX reviews. Um, new generation NCLEX, I go over the type of questions you should expect, how to answer them. I go over the content you better know for that test and just basically how to answer questions, even if you don't know what the correct answer is. So be sure to check that out. I see people are already starting to join and we are going to start shortly. Okay, guys, let's get started. A 72-year-old patient states he feels tired all the time and is having trouble sleeping and thinking. Which action is best? Teach that this is normal aging process, refer him to senior citizen support group, tell him to suck it up, assess the mental status and health history, or refer him to the healthcare provider. What do you guys think the answer is going to be? Okay, correct answer is assess mental uh, status and health sis, uh, history. ADPI, you always want to assess first. You want to get information before you do anything else. Patients prescribe uh, Zoloft. The nurse would include which of the following in the teaching plan? Feelings of depression should be minimized immediately. The medication causes lightheadedness and dizziness when arising. It may take several weeks before he starts to feel better, or this medication increases appetite and causes weight gain. So what do you guys think? All right. It may take several weeks before he starts to feel better. And across the board, guys, when it comes to these psych meds, you have to teach the patient the antidepressant meds. You have to teach the patient that's going to take a couple of weeks before they start to feel better. If you don't tell them that, they're going to think something's wrong with them. True or false? Depression should be considered to be feelings of anger, anxiety, re resentfulness, and worthlessness turn towards self. What do you guys think, true or false? True. All of those uh, feelings are turned inwards. They feel like they're worthy. They feel like they're, um, 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 they feel like they're unworthy, excuse me. They have anger and everything turned towards self. Very good. All right, Kat's still in the lead. Okay, Kat, I see you. Patients been prescribed an MAOI may safely eat which type of food items select all that apply. All right. It's an MAOI. What can they have? Grain cereals, pepperoni, pickled eggs, red wine, aged cheese, nuts. What can they have if they're on an MAOI? This is very important. You guys have to know this concept.
All right, cereal, uh, grain cereals and nuts. All of the other choices, guys, have tyramine in it. Patients who are on MAOIs cannot have anything with tyramine because they can have a hypertensive crisis. They can have other issues. No tyramine when you're on MAOIs. Very important to know. Cat's still in the lead. Okay. In order to be legally committed, the patient would have to most likely exhibit what? Psychosis, inability to pay for private treatment, clinical manifestations of major depression, threatening remarks to friends, family, or coworkers, or attempt to uh, harm self or others. In order, to, in order to be legally committed, what do, what do they have to exhibit? What do you guys think? Attempt to self or others, okay? To be committed without having a say, without a choice, you have to either have attempt to harm yourself or someone else. All right, Kat, Andrea, Ronnie, Tina, what's going on? True or false? During a commitment to a psych facility, the patient loses the right to vote and make a will or any legally bonding contract. Is this true or false? If that patient's committed, during that time of being committed, they're not allowed to vote in national elections, they're not allowed to make a will, they're not even allowed to enter into a binding contract, and that's false. They still have those rights. What they can't do is sign themselves out against legal advice. That's what they can't do. Which reaction should a patient be cautioned about when an MAOI if the diet includes tyramine? Oh, I feel like I gave you guys the answer. Respiratory arrest, urinary retention, seizures, heart block, hypertensive crisis, or dehydration. If a patient's taking an MAOI, and they eat a food with tyramine, what can happen? What adverse uh, reaction, which is deadly, can be lethal, are we going to be concerned about? Hypertensive crisis. I kind of gave you guys that answer on something else. Very good. Which of the following assessments should be completed before a patient starts taking Tofranil? Urine sample for WBCs, ECG, thyroid scan, or creatinine? What do you guys think? I think I gave too much time. So I think uh, next time I'll make it shorter. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like I said, it's my first time, guys. ECG. So Tofranol, guys, this is a TCA. It's a tricyclic um, antidepressant and it can cause um, a tachycardia. So we want to get a baseline ECG. What's an appropriate nursing action, excuse me, for the patient that's severely depressed and withdrawn? Select all that apply. Remember guys, you're gonna choose, um, treat select all that apply as true or false. Use simple concrete words. Allow time for the patient to respond. Tell the patient things will get better. Listen for covert messages. Avoid platitudes. Encourage the patient to snap out of it. What do you guys think? Okay, let's talk about this. Use simple, concrete words. They are severely depressed. You can't say long, drawn out things. They won't be able to, their thinking is very slowed down. They won't be able to catch up. You want to give them time to respond. Their thinking has slowed down. You want to listen for covert messages if they say something like, oh, this will all end soon. What do you mean this will all end soon? And avoid platitudes. Don't say things like, oh, uh, tomorrow's another day. Things will get better. One last question. What are the cognitive distortions that may result in a negative self-perception? Select all that apply. Again, treat as true or false, overgeneralization, self-blame, self-motivation, self-preservation, mind reading, and discounting positive attributes.
All right. So overgeneralization, saying everyone hates me instead of maybe one person doesn't like me. Self-blame. Everything is my fault because remember, depression's anger, anxiety, hatred, worthlessness turn towards self, mind reading. Thinking that, oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I'm dumb, right? And discounting positive attributes. Someone will say something positive about you and you'll say, no, no, that's not me, okay? All of those are um, cognitive distortions that affects that person's um, perception of self in depression. And guys, that is it for depression. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Congratulate. Oh, I was about to say Andrea. Cat. Congratulations. I think this was Kat. Okay, great. Congratulations, Kat. So anyway, um, guys, this is my first one. So I promise I'll get better with time, but I need some tips, please. In the comment section, let me know what I can do better. And if there's a different platform that I can use to make it better, please let me know. I want to keep this a series. So let me know how I can make it better for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and you guys will catch me on the next video.